I will be learning story threats, pretty simple stuff. I will be learning regular research as well. So first we do the setup. It's very simple, just hit the ball up and then just go down. You'll get a reset back. No, just a reset. I'll do it one more time just to show you. It doesn't really matter what you do, but you slow down and then That's basically the loop, the basis of it. And then now you need to learn how to score, which is uh, if you're using directional arrow right, you pull on your left joystick at the same time. So I'll be using arrow right. That's what it looks like with arrow right. I use arrow left, though, so I'll pull right on my joystick and roll with that. And then you will uh, just practice that tornado spin movement. Practice that tornado spin movement. It looks, looks like that, right? After you do that, then just do this. You can see if. Uh, Whilst holding that, just jump, and that's your score. But for uh, for uh, uh, the recent I'm talking about, you need to instant score, which looks like that. You see how it it doesn't do the full movement. That's it, basically. Now you can try instant score. So get to the ceiling, go down, and instant score. That's for your ceiling reset, but I do not do insta stalls. I mean, some people use them, but they generally don't look very clean. So instead of doing that insta stall, I do like a 360 stall instead. Look kind of like that. Basically, just doing a 360 so you can control the stall. And most people do that, and then when you're going for regular resets, it's the same premise, really. Regular resets. I'm gonna go regular reset, I'm gonna go for a double reset, or I don't know. What if the eye is fancy? But I had the foot there. But you're getting it. I get a reset. I did not get a reset. You, I think you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom. That's hitting ceiling. The big side. You get a boot. Reset. Second reset. Into musty or whatever. Whatever you want. What? Uh, that's, that's about. Get the store, you do everything, and then you do it on the ceiling one. That basically. So if the ball's too high, you jump off. Ball's too low. If the ball's too low, you jump off for the store. And if the ball's too high, just be patient. I'm gonna pop the ball low, but. See how now you can position yourself to do the foot. And then there's different kinds of store resets, and you can also flip on the same setup. So, like that. That's one way of doing it. It's actually flipping into the reset instead. That actually does work. As you can see, you do get a reset if you get the perfect flip. And that also works for. Flip reset doubles and triple flip reset. You get a reset here instead of. Yeah, so basically, you can do it without a score as well. So if you can't score, you, you don't like scoring, or you think a uh, regular thing is better, then uh, you just do the same thing, but that's more timing. You have to time your second score reset. Mainly, and then you have other resets. Heli resets, Muri resets, Jaxi resets, Macta resets. Those are mainly freestyles. You know. You might see it in comp from a concept, but. Those are mainly thingy resets. Those are front flip resets, back 
I can do most of these. I, I can do most of but I can't do them. So here's an example of that. Well, I'll try to get the reset. I don't, yeah, I usually don't get the reset on this setup. I'm currently practicing a heli sword. I did not get a reset, even though all four wheels. I do it. There you go, but I did not get a reset because this time I did not move. I did not get a reset. But you get the movement is like a helicopter, but it's not 180. It's like a diagonal movement at the end. Oh, yeah, let me sure you get it. There's a backboard reset. You can do a heli reset off the thingy like that. That's a heli reset off it. And we reset so you can do off the re off off the ceiling and in the air. Depends on which one you want to do. You also have well mirror resets, which are um three difficulty level. One of the highest difficulties. It's like a massive reset, but you get a reset from a backflip from. From the or from another reset, you. I'm not trying to do a half look finger. That's because of my stick drift, which is like sad. I can do a active reset there. That's that's an active reset. That kind of movement, you you'd get an active reset. This is like not like I don't have to explain. Like a diagonal must. Diagonal mark. I think this is what the motion uh, looks like for a master piece. Looks like that. New reset is just that. Uh, I'll try hitting a. Um, basically, that kind of movement. You want to push forward instead of. And then, new reset. I didn't get the reset, but I did the setup perfectly there. And finally, it was the heli resets. Taxi resets are really hard to do. They like massive resets, but it's it's like a time. You know, it's like a high regular like rip, but I don't know how to explain. It, but yeah, basically, there's a reset. You time, then you can you know you can combine your reset into like a same anti reset. I don't know. That's you can do chain resets and stuff, which is be pretty cool. Chain reset it is insane, but that's about it. And then you can do like. Movement, movement, and stuff, but pretty much those are the basics of reset. You can actually throw the video down if you want to see a shot. If you want to uh, suggest the shot in the comments, go ahead. I'm not the greatest at so re reset, but I'm just trying to improve. Like, this is for people who are either new to Rocket League, want the freestyle, or are just not good mechanically you know here's your shot here's your chance go you can back all your friends oh look guys i can reset bragging isn't a bad thing uh over bragging is a bad thing it just shows that you clearly aren't paying attention to your friends but yeah you can back your for that look i can triple reset after you uh, yeah you get this but anyway that's I uh, hope uh, the Muffies stay safe, have a good week, and bye!